Yo, this is Adam Sandoval, and you're watching Wicked Customs Garage. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bleeding out these brakes. Well, I've been having issues with trying to get it started. But I recently found out a pretty neat trick. I just wanted to try it out and uh, let's let's try it so what we got here is we have a spray nozzle off of a little sprayer for cleaner we got the right sized clear tubing and then we have the stock little piece that comes on it, the little straw that dips down to the bottom. Got that right here. I just cut a piece off and that goes back in here. And then I put a piece of electrical tape on there to fill the gap. So whenever I squeeze this, in theory, it should start bubbling out right here. As you can see, it is bubbling. Let me get a little bit of light on there. Trying to figure out a way how to position my light. Give me one second, guys. Sorry, guys. Check this out. So, get the, all the bubbles to stop. So, we're just going to push this down. And what we're going to do is we're going to loosen it. These are three eighths on this one. See that already popping out? Alright, let me fix this too. Alright. So we're just going to go ahead and start pumping it up. Whoa. As they filled it. Put this in the bottle. And add a little bit more brake fluid. That's not good. It just sucked a whole bunch of air out. Whoa. Get that cleaned up. On steady wins the race. Start building up pressure here again. Try to tighten this up, sorry guys. 
I'm not talking very much. I'm just highly concentrated. I'm going to tighten this down just a little bit. Let's see if I can get the same. See if I can't pump up some pressure here. Because I don't want that air to shoot back down into the bleeder. Hold that, please. Just going to crack this bleeder loose. And then just keep working with that. It's nice to Pretty much just continues that. We have brake pressure. That's ought to be a juicy one then. Let's try to get this all into place here. I'm literally pressing in with my stomach. Uh, tighten it, tighten it. There we go. Let's 
pump it up some more. was decent but at least we're getting pressure now so it's all in the matter of flushing them out now I've already flushed out these lines right here I flushed those out as the first thing I've done whenever I was redoing the brake lines so I replaced this top brake line. I did the build a line from Goodrich. I did a video on how to build that. Um, I gotta go into the T fitting and then I took these out, these lines, the lower brake lines, and I blew those out with my air compressor. So now it's traveling through empty lines and then up to empty. Uh, calipers so that's taking a while but there's still some in the caliper so we're just flushing out the crap that's in there and hoping for the best and I might be running out of dot five here soon just keep pumping this up tedious task but it's a very it's a very rewarding task knowing that you work on your own bike all right I'll pump this up till I get pressure oh man this one should be a good one oh yeah oh yeah that was a really good one all right so let's go about this so we have rebuilt the master cylinder. We built the Goodridge line, and it has the 10 millimeter angled, got the banjo fitting. This line's a little too long for these short little bars, but whenever I put those uh, 10 and a half inch baby apes on there, it's gonna be just right. I'm gonna try to maybe even reroute it, but I don't really feel like it. So we got these brakes bled off. And it's looking pretty snazzy. We actually got some good brakes on here. I still have to fill it back up with the Dot 5 from Harley Davidson. Do not use anything else besides Dot 5 from Harley Davidson and your Harley Davidson motorcycle. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep it wicked.